in this quick review, I'm going to be sprinkling in action shots of me driving along with, of course, Michael Bay trailer shots from the film. I went into Ambulance Fresh with some buddies. We knew nothing about the film, didn't see a trailer. I assumed Jake Gyllenhaal was an ambulance driver. Not really the case. He's actually a criminal. He, he robs a bank and they have to get away. They use an ambulance as a last second ditch. And the rest of the film is basically speed but with Michael Bay directing. And if the name Michael Bay doesn't ring a bell, he reminds you in this movie, because there's several references to his past films, including The Rock, which is great. It's actually a lot better than this. So is Con Air. That being said, I'm a sucker for Michael Bay movies. The scripts are nonsense. The actors are over the top. The camera shots are ridiculous in the best ways possible. He goes all out in this. There's now drone technology being utilized. <laughs> and it's funny because I swear Michael Bay, I don't know if he has a kid or not, I assume he does, and he went in the backyard and saw his son, Michael Bay Jr., flying one around, and the kid pushed the button that makes the drone go and do a flip, because Michael Bay uses that flip trick probably half a dozen times in this film. The drone will go up the side of a building and go zzz and spin and go right back down the building for no reason. It has no purpose in the movie other than, look at this camera shot. They're, they're really dumb. It's really bad. It's pretty bad when they use the drones full stop. There was one or two moments where it goes under a car that's crashing. That's about it. Otherwise, they're these weird overhead shots leaving buildings. They don't look good. They're, they're not as crisp as the regular high def cameras. In a week or so, I will be back to normal. I'll be in a new studio at my new place. But for now, we're, we're running loose. We're running wild like a Michael Bay film. Highlight of the film is easily Jake Gyllenhaal as bad guy. I don't have time to look up these character names and I certainly don't remember them. It's been over 24 hours since I saw the film, so most of that is completely out of my head. He and his brother will spend the majority of the time trying to outrun the cops in an ambulance while the cute girl in the back is trying to keep a cop that they shot alive. If the cop dies, the rest of the boys in blue can shoot the drivers, no questions asked but they want that cop alive. So it really does have that kind of speed style to it. It's Michael Bay, so the movie's of course over two hours long for no reason at all. Could have been an hour and a half, in and out, a nice meal, but we have to sit through it. We have to sit there and question why some of these things are happening. There's one moment that's uh, very silly. I have to point it out, I just have to. It's not really a spoiler, it's just one of the many ways they try to outrun the cops. If you don't wanna hear about it, this movie's a rental or something that you would watch on a streaming service. I don't think you need to go out and see it, especially when there's so many good movies coming out in the couple of weeks. If you didn't see everything everywhere all at once, I hope I said that name right, you should watch that way before this. And then we have the, the Norseman coming out. There's a new Doctor Strange. So this is just gonna kind of fly under the radar. And honestly, this feels like a big budget version of one of those kind of cheesy TV shows they make for older people. The only thing missing really was Jennifer Love Hewitt on a headset redirecting traffic. Anyway, back to the crazy part. So Jake Gyllenhaal calls in a favor from some cartel dudes that his dad worked with, and they're gonna help them lose the cops by bringing out four more ambulances and they're gonna make a switcheroo underneath the bridge after they're able to kind of get rid of the boys in blue for a few minutes so they can do this. They're also gonna spray paint a fifth ambulance, the one they're in, green. And that way they're completely inconspicuous. Michael Bay just played Grand Theft Auto, so he thinks this is how it works. They do a terrible spray paint job. It's kind of a funny moment. Uh, there's some decent comedy in this. I think Michael Bay does a good job with the humor. And uh, it, it's like painting a bullseye on the ambulance. It's the most obvious thing ever, and somehow it works. All I'm thinking is, how about take a car? Get in a car, still have the ambulances go out, but I don't know, maybe not be in one yourself? That way you get rid of the EMT in the back and the cop that's dying. As far as the Michael Bay movies go, this is definitely on the lower rung for me. I'd rather watch the first couple Transformers films. I'd much rather watch The Rock or Con Air or any of the multitude of 90s action films he did. You know, now that I think about it, there was also a police chief side story with his big ass dog. We didn't really get closure on that dog either. Unless it was an after credits sequence I didn't see, but man, I feel, I feel almost empty not knowing what happened with the dog disappointing that was an arc i wanted to see get some resolution anyway those are my quick thoughts on ambulance tried to spice up the review the best i could in the limited time i have 
Hope you enjoyed it. Maybe think about subbing to the channel. I do tons of movie reviews, rants, reactions, anything movie related, I'm on it.